Well, hello, Shell Point. We're privileged to have Dr. Goforth with us in the studio today. And Dr. Goforth has been here at Shell Point for about the last year. And I don't know if you've had a chance to meet him or uh, have him treat you, but uh, we're, we're very privileged to have him uh, as the head of our medical team here at Shell Point now. And something you may not know about Dr. Goforth is that he has been going to international uh, mission trips to do medical help for folks in, uh, in underserved areas for since when did you say the 19 I really started in the early 90s in the early 90s so for many years and not just for several times a year he's in over 50 of these trips and been all over the world to just about every continent yes yeah, been to every continent except Antarctica and it's too cold to go there <laughs> I think the penguins are probably fine without your help so uh, so that's a tremendous amount of experience Dr. Goforth uh, tell us what is it like to go to one of these uh, one of these areas and help folks out with medical needs well, I, uh, from an early age, really wanted to do medical missions work, mm -hmm. and most of my career has been in short-term, one to two-week mm -hmm. medical mission trips, and I have found these just transforming. I've had mm -hmm. many team members tell me that made all the difference in the world. It changed their outlook of the world. Uh -huh. I've taken all of my children on these trips That's when tremendous. they were between 12 and 14. That's a life changer. We go to small villages. Typically, they're 30 minutes to two hours outside mm -hmm. the city where we stay, mm -hmm. and they really are uh, extremely grateful for the care you provide. Well, that is really tremendous. Now, the thing that uh, we're also here to talk about today is that there's another upcoming trip uh, in March, March 15th through 23rd, uh, coming right up. But we have the opportunity to invite some folks to come along, don't we? I'm very, very excited about this opportunity for our Shell Point residents and staff. I've been going to Olanchito, Honduras uh, on an annual basis since 1997. Wow. So, so I've this place you've been to quite a bit. I, I know this area. Uh -huh. uh, it's actually a pretty nice place to go. Mm -hmm. if, if people have never done a medical missions trip, this is a very comfortable first okay, trip. Okay, so it's not too scary. There's a comfortable place to stay in a hotel. Uh, we do. I'm a, a Rotarian as well, uh -huh. and one of my Rotary friends owns the hotel oh, that we stay at. So, so it's not like eating snakes and bugs. There's like regular food. and There is. Okay. <laughs> We've got a lady named Rosemary that's been cooking for since 97, uh -huh. and she is. She does Honduran meals part of the time, yeah. some Western meals, yeah. but it's good and it's safe. Now, in the, the mission that you go under here, it's Volunteers and Medical Missions, V-I-M-M. -M. Right. Volunteers and Medical Missions is a great organization. It's based out of Seneca, South Carolina, and I've actually worked with them for many years. Mm -hmm. I currently serve as chairman of their board, and mm -hmm. I've been a team leader uh, since the 90s with them, but they've got a staff in Seneca that arrange all the airfares. They get good, the best prices mm -hmm. you can get. Mm -hmm. Basically, you sign up, uh, fill out an application, uh, pay for your expenses on the trip, mm -hmm. and that's all you have to do. Great. Now, okay, it's a medical thing. Do I have to be a doctor or a nurse to go on one of these trips? That's a very common question, and you know, we actually have hardly any problem getting doctors and nurses. Uh -huh. The area that we often need help in is the non-medical position. Okay, and what, what would the non-medical folks, if just a regular you know, person that's interested, what would they be doing on this trip? So we, you know, we're running primary care clinics, mm -hmm. and we'll have you know, 200 to 500 people a day wow. uh, walk in mm -hmm. to be seen. And so there's some people I need for crowd control okay. just to help make sure people sure. get through the line. Anybody can do that. Uh, we also, the uh, all the patients love to get their vitamins mm -hmm. and they like to be dewormed. Okay. And so we so have So there's a, a lot of handing out of medicine and supplies mm -hmm. to be done. So you can give out uh, deworming pills okay. and vitamins. We also have an evangelism station because uh -huh. this is a Christian ministry right. that focuses on spiritual and physical healing. So some folks might want to uh, be involved with that. Yeah, you know, if they're spending Spanish speakers, uh, mm -hmm. they can do even more. They can share That's the gospel. Uh, we also have a lot of children. You uh -huh. know, most of these families will have you know three to five children, uh -huh. so there's lots of kids around. All right, so and, if somebody's interested in kids, uh, there's plenty to do with the kids. Yeah, people, uh, you know, they'll bring toys and play with the children, right. and uh, we had a guy that blew up balloons for years, wow. and he would write the happy faces on them, <laughs> and that, uh, they're still telling me. So it sounds like if, if someone has an interest, they're going to have a job that they can do. Absolutely. I can use anybody. I can right. use people of all types. And we're also going to have some jobs prior to the trip. Uh, because mm -hmm. we see so many patients, we prepackage our pills. Mm -hmm. 
And so, for example, uh, if we're given that antibiotics, we'll prepackage uh -huh. a week's worth of antibiotics. And so so perhaps somebody can even help, if they can't go on the trip, they can help with that even uh, in preparation. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific. Absolutely. Now, so if someone would like to get involved with this, either to help with the prep or to sign up and go on trip, uh, what's their first step? How do they get get the information they need? If they're interested, that's a good uh, first step. Uh, the other thing, uh, for those that can't make that meeting, uh, they're welcome to stop by the medical center and talk to me. Mm -hmm. uh, they can also go to the VIM website, just VIMM.org. VIMM.org. Right. All there's right. information there about the organization as well as this specific trip. Well, terrific. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing this with us. It's an exciting opportunity for folks, mm -hmm. and we're glad to to, uh, to hear about, to learn about you and your past and your uh, your involvement, your passion for this kind of work. It's a, a tremendous thing, a wonderful mm -hmm. outreach to folks in, uh, in these underserved areas. So if you'd like to know more about this, get a hold of Dr. Goforth, come to his session on Friday. Um, I think that you'd find it a life-changing and amazingly enriching experience if you haven't had an opportunity to uh, do a trip of this sort uh, to, a, to a third world underserved area. So Dr. Goforth, thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thank it you very so much, much Dan. All right. I look forward to having a lot of Shell Point residents. We can take up to 35, so don't wait to sign up. We All need right. to know right away. Come and have an adventure with Dr. Goforth.